Thank you, Governor. Uh, before we get on to the rest of the program, I also want to point out that, as you heard from my opening remarks, we like to keep up with the commitments that people have made in the past and see how they're doing. So I want to take a moment and give you the chance to hear from members of our community on their progress. We call this our commitment lightning round. So we're going to have five past commitment makers come up here and self-report. Okay, I'm Jamie Bonini from Toyota. We know that operational inefficiencies can limit the ability of organizations to serve their communities. So in 2011, as part of our efforts to help strengthen communities across the U.S., we committed to share the Toyota production system, a methodology for improving operations at every level, with 20 nonprofits helping them maximize their impact. As a result, the Food Bank for New York City has cut its delivery times in half. And the Red Cross has reduced its emergency volunteer training time by 90%. With small to mid-sized businesses, like Intertech Plastics right here in Denver, the Toyota production system has helped protect jobs and strengthen local economies. Last year, we expanded our commitment to reach 20 more nonprofits and manufacturers. Surpassing that expansion, we've now partnered with 47 organizations, and we look forward to seeing what's next. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jane Henderson with Virginia Community Capital. The prevalence of food deserts throughout Virginia means that the state's rural and urban communities often lack healthy, fresh foods, which can lead to poor nutrition, obesity, and preventable diseases. In 2013, we committed to launching the Virginia Fresh Food Loan Fund to facilitate healthy food enterprises in urban and rural communities across Virginia. We're happy to report that since making our commitment, we've reached our $10 million fundraising goal, and we've closed our first two loans, including one to a local grocer in Appalachia and one to a food aggregator. And we're also excited to announce that we already have 1.4 million in commitments for 2014. Hello, I'm Lisa Regala of the Maker Education Initiative. We believe that hands-on building or making can uniquely spark a student's interest in science, technology, engineering, and math. That's why in 2012, Maker Ed with Cognizant and Intel, and later with sponsorship from Google, the Grable Foundation, and others, committed to equip youth-serving organizations with interactive STEM resources and support through Maker Core. In 2013, our commitment provided STEM mentorship to over 90,000 youth and families in 19 states. We're excited to report that we're expanding our commitment and are on track to exceed our goal to reach 140,000 students before September. Good morning. I'm Roberto Baragan of California-based VEDC. Small businesses are essential to our economic growth, accounting for 54% of all U.S. sales. But without access to capital and development opportunities of larger companies, small businesses often struggle to succeed. That's why UBS's Elevity Entrepreneurs, in partnership with VDC, equips small business owners with the mentorship, education, and capital necessary for business growth. UBS and VDC are excited to announce that through our commitment, over 100 small businesses have received capital in amounts of $50,000 to 
mentorship, and technical assistance, and $9 million in loans have been deployed, resulting in over 1,000 jobs created or retained. Now we're expanding our commitment to provide a total of $35 million in loans to small businesses in Los Angeles and Chicago, and new markets in New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Nevada, and Utah that will create another 2,000 jobs. Hi, I'm Dara Duguay of Credit Builders Alliance. For the 54 million Americans with subprime or non-existent credit scores, having good credit is more than an asset. It's a key to financial security. That's why in 2012, CBA partnered with Experian to support the ability of nonprofits to improve the credit worthiness of their clients and expand financial access for individuals in their communities. Since 2012, we've trained more than 300 nonprofit practitioners in five cities. And we're excited to announce that in 2013, we expanded our commitment with the generous support of City Foundation to create the Power of Rent Reporting, which for the first time ever allows low-income housing residents to build their credit through reporting of their rental payments. Good morning, I'm Sharon Goodwin of New York City Department of Probation. By providing educational opportunities for young adults who are exiting the justice system, we can reduce recidivism by nearly 30%. So in 2013, the Department of Probation and our partners created Connecting New York City Youth to Educational Success, a commitment that builds pathways to education and vocational training for youth currently on probation. Since we launched in January, we've already raised 80% of our fundraising goal and connected 47 youth to partner programs citywide, on track to reach our target of 150 connections by next year. <laughs> 